This is the Transparency Podcast Show. Yeah. We call it um, Pink Fog. Yeah. Pink it's fog? like you're on this cloud nine. Yeah, you, and... you two took a break. Can we kind of kind of um, talk about during the break? How, how do you feel? Right? You, you, uh, Tina took about 10 years break in between. Oh, yeah. And yeah, you yeah, too, right? too took a Yeah, break. so yeah. can we talk so, about how do you feel when you cannot... Uh, be who you are, okay, now. Yeah, because, you know, got married, mm-hmm. raised children, all yes. that stuff. So right. took a break. Uh-huh. Uh, and coming back, say, year 2009, whatever, and it was different world, mm-hmm. kind of, and going to, like, Hamburger Mary's, and, like, Jamie, you know, mm-hmm. greeted us and made you feel at home. And it was, um, like, I miss this so much. Right, and, but it's, it's a different experience because uh-huh. there's way more girls. Yeah, um, it was accepting back in the day, but really accepting at this part of so it. So when you, but when you um, taking that break time, mm-hmm. do you feel you want to go? Oh, out? of course, you want to do this. You know, yeah, you, you want to go, go. You know, there's a thing where people. Somebody. You know, there's things where girls, uh-huh. not a lot, but a lot of girls, they would go. They get rid of all their clothes. Yeah, they just I like they like. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna done. stop. I'm gonna <laughs> stop. And you just purge all your clothes. Mm. And then about five years later, it all comes back. You <laughs> like, oh, I want to buy this. I want to buy that. And it all comes back because mm. you know there's circum- circumstances right. where you know can't dress or whatever. And you know, oh shoot, you have I to purge my shit. Yeah, right? you have the needs. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. and so then strange. it just comes roaring back. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. oh my God! So how about you, how about you, Tina? Yeah, I I think it's the same way. You know, just there's certain family stuff and personal issues that happened to me over the years mm-hmm. where I couldn't go out. You know, um, and you just you just deal with it. You know, you just learn mm-hmm. how to deal with. It. Especially the last time when I, you know, I was going through some a lot of personal issues, mm-hmm. and you know, I just kind of put it aside for for a while. You know, I just couldn't deal and. Uh, but then, you know, pandemic came and it <laughs> came back, you know, and I'm, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, but, yeah, but she was really shy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So there was one person that just kind of helped her. Yeah, Kimi <laughs> was the one. Yeah, because, I mean, I, you know, I had been away for a little while with personal issues and then mm-hmm. I started posting some pictures, right, and during the pandemic and then. She hit me up on Facebook, right? Kim, saying, it's an Asian girl from Gardena. Yeah. Are you hunting? No, no, oh was my God. no I, was not, I was not hunting. I was like, hey, another another Asian persuasion sister. Yeah. Right. So okay. so like I go, let's meet. Like at a picnic. Like picnic? At, at a park or something. Yeah, something neutral. Yeah. Okay. Right? It wasn't a hookup thing. So uh <laughs> We never thought that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. So you decided, okay, but you, but you, you know, you tell like how you felt and well, being yeah, on public. Yeah. Because it had been like 10 mm. years, right? 10 years. So, yes. Yeah. And I hadn't been out, you know, and, and then we just go to a real public place at the <laughs> park and I'm like, Okay, I but your heart was racing. Like, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, right. And people walking around this there, walking to the park, right. Mm-hmm. And she's so calm, so mellow, and it just put me at ease. And then once we started talking, I forgot. I forgot where I was. I forgot mm. who I, you know, just mm. I forgot the surroundings. The fear is gone. Yeah, and then plus we have so much in common with our family right. and our right. history, Good. you know, with our parents, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Her. Mother knew my, probably mm. knew my father. We don't know because they're dead. Oh. Well, this is 1935, oh. 1936. Do you think they dated too? No, <laughs> no. My mom but was But they, they might have known each other because they oh. went to the same high school. Okay. This right. is 1936. So how many wow. years ago? Almost so we had yeah. so much in common just yeah. chatting and talking. Mm. And yeah. That's good. And yeah. she's the one that kind of brought me out of my shell. I, I gave her the mindset, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't did, know if I can right? say that. Word. Yes, you can. Okay. Finally. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's like, don't you know, worry about don't, what anybody thinks or what, if anybody's looking at you, don't worry about just, mm-hmm. just, just go. Yeah. yeah. Just act like yourself. Right. Yeah. 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 She got me to do that. So. <laughs> good, good. Yeah. So it works. 
Yeah, it worked. Oh, yeah. Good, good, good. Now good. she's a monster. She just can't go everywhere. Anywhere. Oh, my God. Day, just kidding. Go on shopping. <laughs> go on this and that. Go on open houses. Yeah, well, we did open house, right, last year. No, I mean, you when you went oh, on I go, home. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's so cool, right? Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah, it is so cool. Uh, yeah. Um, love talk, that. talk about open houses. Can, can we, you want to talk about Don? Because he kind of contributed a lot. To, you know, our our events and kind of make our um, many of them never gone outside of the club, right? Remember that time, mm-hmm. and 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 because of his generosity, able to provide his house for us, and oh. many of them are able to be God. Wow. <laughs> it it is too? hard um, as as we have grown up. See some of our best allies and friends uh, depart. Mm. It is very hard. I mean, we were not related, but he was like an uncle to me. Wow. He was always so kind. He was truly a, a gentleman. Mm. Mm. And do you know those? This is like there's a few people, boys that have impacted us so much, right? I, right. you know, um, I could name a few with my hand with my all the fingers in one hand that have made an impact in who I became right. over the years right he's one of them right? yeah it was really. such a safe place to go you know yeah right it was just it was yeah. comfortable and all the girls would get together have a little that's what I mean about the umbrella of the community of, of the trans community all the sisters would get together and it would just be a really good time Right. right, just getting together. Nothing, no pressure of hooking up or all that BS. Mm-hmm. It's just getting together and just having, you know, relating because we're all trans sisters. And so we, we just have this weird, uncommon, I mean, this common bond. We're all trans, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So it, that part, just everyone glues us together. Yeah, and also I want to mention is um, um, two times, I, I mean... First time I was like, decide to move forward to 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 do all this, and I didn't have a place to live. I, I, you know, I haven't found a place to live, and he was you know very generous and and opened up for me to stay at one of his rooms. And second time was when I broke up, and I it's so sudden, so I I packed my stuff and leave. And guess what? That's the only place I can go. And he, you know, said, he okay. The doors. Yeah. So technically, two two times I'm almost homeless, he, he opened his door. So, right. so that's why I want to mention it on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and you yourself, Shelby, you opened your house to me. To me too. Oh. Many times. You know, over the years we have shared this bond, <clears throat> this friendship. A true friendship that lasted over the years, and you have taken your journey. I've seen you grow in into womanhood. Thank you. You know, and I mean, I really see what you're doing. You know, because life is hard, and oh, and uh, wow. you know, for me, you're an inspiration. Thank you. You know, where I would want to go sometime. You know, each one situation is different, of right? Us, right? Mm-hmm. But uh, I, I think influencing me in and the conversations we have had over the years you know um really have impacted me positively i second that right yeah, yeah. thank yeah. you thank yeah. you